Good morning from Berlin, Germany, you guys. It's our first time ever in yes. this city and we are so excited to explore it and experience it, share it with you guys. We have a ton planned mm -hmm. for the next few days. We're going to a flea market this morning, which I'm so excited about. The biggest flea market in Berlin. So this is definitely feeling like the biggest flea market yeah, it's we could have possibly come to. It's kind of overwhelming how it huge is. this place is. Yeah. But they have everything. Food, clothes, art, everything you could think of. And this is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, coffee. Oh, perfect. Can we have two cappuccinos? Uh, and could you do oat milk? Thank you so much. It's so cool. It's literally so big. I, I need this. Let me see it. Please. What does it say? I don't do mornings. <laughs> it's so cute. Thank Are you? you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. You so much. I know how to it's literally full buckets full of sunglasses. Yeah, there's so many here. And there's a bunch all over there. It's crazy. Oh, this is prescription. <laughs> Oh my god, that just gave me an instant headache. <laughs> Babe, look. Tiny ass paintings. So oh. in the jar. Check it out, make a shade with your hand. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Did you ever have the stars in your ceiling or like a yeah. friend who had these? Yeah, yeah so I, my suggestion is you put the uh, ass on the ceiling and you do a glowing moon. Look at this. This is me. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> That's pretty. That's really pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. I love this one. Two new rings for 10 euros. So cool. That is such a fire deal. I am the crowd. You are the singer. Go. For us. <laughs> Heard a lot about these photo booths in yes, Berlin. Yes, I'm excited. Okay, we have to be ready to... Should I have my glasses on? No. Oh! Wow, I was not ready. <laughs> Where is the next one? Do we only get one? No! Oh, no! Alright, let me look. There oh you go. Gosh. Let's just do it again because that first one was a disaster. Here it is. Let's see. This is the first one. So this is gonna be the. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so caught up. Oh, oh they're, cute. they're really cute. I can't wait for the next ones. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, these are, that's the best photo booth we've ever. This is the best been. photo I've ever taken. <laughs> Guys, this this place is amazing. Honestly, it's really like the coolest. Spent way more than we planned on spending mm -hmm. so far. There's just too many cool things. There's there everything. Really is. Like, they have everything. One of the best vintage or flea markets that we've been to around the world, I think. Yeah, no, by far. But now I'm starving, so let's go find some food. <laughs> Look at that. They have the... That's so cool that they have this all the way here in Germany. It's very hot. Thank you so much. Just one, two. Thank you. That's good. That's good, yeah? Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, we're walking around with a whole international buffet on our hands, so we got to find a spot to sit down and eat. Yes. All right, this is a good spot. We found a spot. So we have Italian, we got Japanese, and then we have like 
Is this Moroccan? Yeah, I think so, but I'm not quite so sure. So there was a Moroccan lady that looked really sweet, and she was selling the healthiest drink yeah. in the world, I, I can't remember what's in it. I think it's honey, milk, cinnamon, cinnamon cardamom, nutmeg, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. But it looks kind of suspect. So yeah, it you, does, you, but you it ahead. smells so good. You take a sip of that okay. first. Let's see. The death metal casually in the background. It's really good. Is it's it? just the consistency is really strange, but it's really, really good. <laughs> okay, okay well. I just got a... Mm, it's like stretchy. What? The texture's different. So the people that were serving the gnocchi were actually from Italy. Mm. All right, let's try the takoyaki. takoyaki. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. I feel like in Japan when we had it, we burned we, our mouths so yeah. bad that we couldn't even taste it. We didn't wait long enough last time. How is it? So hot. <laughs> is it good? Honestly, my mouth is burning. <laughs> so we have a lot more planned today, and yes. we got to get going because our next stop is about 30 minutes away by metro. But we would never be able to navigate our way through it all if we didn't have access to data. And the way that we can manage to do that while traveling abroad is through having our favorite eSIM from the sponsor of today's video, which is Olafly. One of the biggest hassles to traveling abroad is no longer having access to data on your phone. Yeah, and there's a few ways that you can fix this. One, you can try to connect to public unreliable Wi-Fi networks, which can be super unsafe as well. Two, you can do some very expensive data roaming using your current mobile phone plan, which... which for me, it's like $10 a day, so it's just not even possible. Yeah, not a good option. Or three, you could try purchasing a local SIM card, which will require some research on your part, looking for the right one to buy and trying to deal with maybe a language barrier and things like that but with Olafly you can now throw all of these options away because their eSIM is a hassle-free solution to this problem. The eSIM is actually located inside your phone already so you don't have to insert a physical SIM card anymore. Olafly's eSIM comes with instant delivery straight to your email no waiting around. And then you can set up your eSIM in just five minutes following these simple steps. With over 160 destinations covered and 24-7 support no matter what comes up in different languages just to help you out there is no reason not to try Olafly on your next trip so be sure to check out Olafly the link and special discount code will be in our description box below thanks again to Olafly for sponsoring today's video and now let's get to exploring more of Berlin Week when we first got to Berlin, we tried the famous currywurst. Yes. This week we wanted to try the other most popular Berlin slash German staple, which is schnitzel. And this place that we're here in right now is one of the best reviewed spots for schnitzel in the city. So we knew we had to come try it out and I'm yes. so excited to try it. Enjoy. Thank you. This wow. looks insanely good right now. <laughs> I cannot wait to try this. What did you get, by the way? I got Berlin meatballs. 
Cheers. Cheers, baby. Mmm. Mine's really good. <laughs> really? Take a bite of that right now. Take a bite of that right now. Wow. That is the schnitzel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and That's take the worst two. Worst dad joke ever. Take two. Mm -mm. That yeah. is very good. <laughs> okay, I am stuffed. Mm -hmm. But that was an absolutely incredible meal. It was so good. We highly recommend that spot. Mm -hmm. We have one last thing we wanted to do today. There's a particular area of town that is world famous. Mm -hmm. It's called the Brandenburg Gate and a few things that surround it that we wanted to just walk around yes. and take in. Maybe catch a sunset around there. for a cafe this morning we saw that there was such cool choices like yeah. Berlin has an underrated cafe scene for mm. sure but we're glad we landed on this one because the coffee looks incredible mm. we wanted to use oat milk as always mm -hmm. but they don't even do that because it doesn't pair well with their coffee beans that's how seriously they take it <laughs> this is sprout milk yes yeah, and I don't know sprout milk? she said sprout milk I don't know what that don't is but let's it. see mm. It's wow. really nice. It's so smooth. Now this almond croissant. Let's talk about that real quick. I've never had one of these before. Really? Mm -mm. All the places we've been, you never I had know, an almond croissant. I know. Oh, that's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna drip. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> you good? It's so good. So another reason that we chose that spot was because it's actually within walking distance of one of the main things we've been wanting to do mm -hmm. while we're in Berlin, which is to check out the East Side Gallery, which is a section of the Berlin Wall that is still standing. It's like a little bit of the remains of it and it's like sprayed with graffiti of different artists. Yeah, they let artists express certain mm -hmm. things on there. Yeah, I'm excited to see different interpretations of it and maybe read a little bit more about the exact things that happened during that time. So basically, this is a 1.3 kilometer stretch mm -hmm. of the wall that has been preserved by the government and they commissioned 118 artists from around the world mm -hmm. to come paint along the wall and express themselves. A lot of the themes of all the paintings are like hope, really powerful stuff, fear, yeah. love, mm -hmm. a lot of human stuff, a lot of stuff that still to this day is relevant and it's really just it's powerful walking yeah. along this. It's crazy that there was a time where we were so divided like this. And it's kind of crazy to see the themes that were going on back then that yeah. are still going on today. 
Exactly. And uh, at a certain point, they turned one side of the wall mm -hmm. public so that other people could come and express themselves. Yeah, so people graffiti on it, and there's somebody right behind us that's doing it actually right now. Anybody can come up to the wall and paint on it. Yeah. Berlin continues to just surprise me. Mm -hmm. It is such a culturally rich yeah. and artistic mm -hmm. and expressive city, and I'm so glad that I got to experience yeah. this. I feel lucky that we got to see this. It's yeah. really, really amazing. But anyways, right now we have to get going because we have something booked that we've been super excited to check mm -hmm. out. It was actually recommended to us by a friend, Will. Yes. Reservation at 6.45, Juan Rivera. All right, so we're here at a restaurant called Barra, an elevated German cuisine style restaurant that we looked up. And we've been really looking forward to this ever since we made this reservation. This is our last dinner in Berlin and it's gonna be a good one. Everything's looking too good to decide. They said like five things they recommend, right? Okay. <laughs> 